Hello there. And here we are to talk a little bit about working with images in Word. You may have noticed that the assignment for the visual literacy essay require that you have the two images appearing in the actual document. And I want to do an exercise that allow you to insert images into a sample document so that you'll know how to do this in Word. It is important skill to know how to do because as time goes on we have more and more images inserted into documents versus just having straight text. So let's take a look at the instructions that are here within my courses. Uh, look at positioning of images and visual literacy sample essays the first thing. So we're going to look at the original sample essay. You should have already seen this at some point. You can look here and you can see first of all we have B.B. King and we have the word C figure one. So you notice it's right around there that you are going to in the next few steps going to insert that image. This is actually two actual movements. You insert the image, you then resize, so maybe three three actual movements, resize and position, and then you're actually going to do a text box and overlay it on the document and I'll show you how to do that. Similarly you'll see that uh, John Ferguson here. We have done the same. We've resized. See figure two. These should be in your essay as well. These little pieces. Note that it's lowercase fig and these are uppercase. That's the MLA standard. Um, nothing that I'm just coming up with randomly. That's the way they ask for it to be done. So here's the sample essay uh, that you have seen before and we're going to go back for a second here and take a peek at the instructions. It says now to open the attached Word document that contains a sample essay but it doesn't have images in it. Now you can click here or you can come down here and click on this. Uh, so click here. You'll see it. I'm in Chrome by the way so it might be a little different on your computer. But uh, we're going to look here and lo and behold there are no images in here but we do see that there is area where it says C figure one. So we're going to try to insert right around there the image of BB King. So first of all we need to get the image of BB King and I have given it to you here. Open the two images found at these links. BB King, so we're going to do this and here it is. Well I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to actually save this image. You should be able to right mouse click and find save, save the image as uh, in your browser. I'm already created an actual folder called ENC1101. It's under pictures. Uh, yours may be a little different because you might be using a different version of Windows. I'm using 8. Um, but here ENC1101 I'm going to save BB King here. Now I'm going to go over to the sample document and I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to click on pictures. And it's going to open up the pictures folder for me. And I'm going to scroll down to the E701. I'm going to click here, and here it is. I said it's rather large. So what we need to do here is once you click on the picture itself, it opens up a different tab. Um, you can't see it listed because of the screen; it's a little off the screen. Is but it says picture tools. You do see format. Um, this is a new tab. It's not here normally unless again if you're on it. You notice that format disappears once we click off of the picture. So here I'm going to click on the picture. Here's format. And over here on the right, this is the way to actually size or resize an image by a while still keeping uh, certain specifications or parameters so that it doesn't look awkward when you do so. So we're going to resize this um, just by clicking on it and hold it down. You want to make it so that it's still pretty visible. So we'll go here with about a 2 on the height and the width about 3. That looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is we need to sort of make it work with the text. So still being clicking on the actual image, you can then go here to this it says wrap text. Wrap text. And what we want to do is we want to probably make it a square or tight. I'm going to make it square. So that allows you to actually move this freely. You might note, I want to do this, go back for a moment and put it in the one that says in line with text and basically you can't really move 
it very freely at all because the text is actually superior to the image itself. By changing this over to square, then we can actually move it more freely because it's becoming superior to the text. So we're going to go here, we're going to put it, we'll just put it right about here. It may be a little different. These do not have to be perfect body stretch of the imagination, but just kind of look at it with a little bit of a eye. Let's see if you can get it to work. And so we're going to put it right there. So there's the image itself. Now you can actually change this a little bit if you want. There are options. Uh, there's border, but I wouldn't recommend doing any of that. Um, you can go, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to insert a text box. So we go to insert text box. We're going to get this little simple text box. Oops, let's try that one more time. Make sure you do not have this selected or when you insert the text box it will automatically delete the picture. So we're going to click off of that and we're going to go to insert text box and it should appear here. And we're going to type in here figure one. Now, note this is a black background. This is a white background here. It's going to look a little tacky on it. What we're going to do here, take the text box, we're going to right mouse click, we're going to format the text box, and we're going to choose here that there is one there's no border, no line around it. So we're going to say no color. And then we're going to say that it is transparent all the way to 100. So click OK after you do that. You'll see here there's no more white background and that the there's no more lines around the text box. But you can actually take this and move it right over here the bottom like it was in the figure. Uh-oh, well we can't see it now because it's black. Well, I'll just highlight it, go to home, and then go ahead and make it maybe white would be the preferable thing here. And you want to move it to an area so that you can actually see it. So the text box you can resize. Let me get small. We'll just take this and move it over here. Figure one. Okay? And that looks similar to what we had before. You can take these two things actually and if you hold down your control key and click on one, click on the other. It's a little tricky sometimes. Click on the figure one first then click on the image itself. And then you can actually go here to format. There should be a group option group right here and what that does is it groups the picture together as one so you can move it into one thing now what we did we think we th I think I threw it off there for a minute by grouping it so let's do this I don't know what that did actually uh, I'm going to undo that it's control Z so it's ungrouped At any rate, don't group your pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'll run into it. Ungroup it for a minute. Here we go. Uh, let's see if we can, because we want to wrap it, make it square again. Here we go. So it's sort of, eye we've sort of eyeballed this and put it where we need to be. Now you can just do the same thing, obviously, with the other one. Here, see figure two. We'll go back to the directions for a minute. We'll close out of this one. And here's the other one for John Ferguson. Again, we're going to do save image as. I'm saving it here. John Ferguson. I'm going to go over to this area. We're a pro now, right? So we go insert. And we're going to do a picture. Here's John Ferguson. It's big. Remember, we click on the image. We get the format. We just want to resize it. 
Say OK. Here we go. Notice his image is a little whiter uh, than the other. Whoa. I think I clicked too much. I don't want that small. So we'll go up here to 2. And what are we going to do? Right? Remember, we're going to wrap the text. Say square so that it is. And we'll move it over here to this side. Probably better on the right than it is on the left, but you can put it in the middle or something like that. Uh, you can play around with it again. We're just eyeballing it here with regards to it. Uh, now we want to add um, that text box. Correct? So we're going to go again to insert or get the text box. And we'll try that one more time. Oops, again, I forgot to get off of the actual image insert text box. Here we go. Call this figure two. It's a black. Again, we can right mouse click, format this text box so that there are no lines and that it is transparent. Click OK. We'll drag the text box in with the picture here. And we got a problem again, remember, because it is in black. And it's kind of hard to see, although I bet if we move it over here a little bit, it's resizing. Lo and behold, we can actually see both. Um, maybe just put it in the corner. You can right mouse click and go over here and do uh, justify left, for instance. Um, if you think it's too hard to see, again, you can change it. You can bold it or put it in white or something like that if you think it's better for the reader. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you could do that instead. Well, um, once you're done with that, then what you need to do is basically just save it with your last name, please, and go ahead and then drop it into our little drop box here. Hopefully that gave you the information that you needed. Thanks for watching. Sorry, it is a bit rough, but I don't think it needs to be anything too formal for us. Have a good one.